Peace, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the LG Stylo 5. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified. If you're already a part of the crew, salute. In 2021 and talking about my top five reasons to purchase it. So the first thing that I do like and think of this as the night a nice phone to buy in 2021 is the build quality. Now I could feel the sides of this is cold to the touch. Um, I, I do believe this is a metal railing going all the way across it. It just has a nice squared off edge to the whole this entire design. It has a nice boxy look to it, which is a design that I actually really do enjoy. Um, it gets really flat on the side. So when you hold this thing without a case on, it feels extremely good. You get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, microphone on, on the bottom, type C as well. Speaker down below, only single firing. You get your stylus on here, which we're going to get into in a little bit more detail, but I can feel the metal railing is cold to the touch. You can see those antennas make it kind of look really classy and stylish as well. So. You do get your power button right here on the right side. We'll get into um, the rest of it, but um, you also do get the volume rockers on the other side, SIM tray remover tool. You can actually expand the storage for photos and videos. Uh, the user um, experience is pretty good, but it does, the SD card isn't adaptable for portable storage, meaning you can't move apps to SD card as well. But um, honestly, guys, this on um, this build looks absolutely solid on the back of it it has a nice polycarbonate plastic material which has given some micro scratches kind of adds some character to it if you ask me and to be completely honest but the, those scratches actually give it a nice little character it's not too bad you know it, they do form one there though but we do get a, a single firing camera on the back we'll get into that in a little bit more detail fingerprint sensor on the back which is cool so I actually think that works pretty good. Um, let me show you one more time. You get your facial recognition on this as well, which the LG Stylo 6 um, removed. So that's another thing, guys. As you can see right there, that thing works pretty quickly. So I really do like that about this thing is that you can see that that facial recognition is there. And, and that thing is absolutely, you know what I mean? It just, it, I really like it there versus not having it on the, the other, the Stylo 6 didn't have it, but this one has it. So I really um, do like that about this one is that, you know, I'm talking about all you have to do is uh, look at it and then, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna basically just open up. So the security on this is good. You get the facial recognition and then you get that one too. But um, another thing that I do like, it has a notification light. So let me um, just show you what I'm talking about. When you're charging it, it turns red. But when you set, when you, when you get like a message or something like that on this thing, it will um, appear right here and it'll start turning green. So I'm gonna try to send like a message to myself or something and see if that goes through. Hold on, let me see if that'll work. Um, hold on. I'm gonna see if I could uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, bet. Okay, so boom. Okay, bet, look. So look at the screen, it's gonna actually show you the notification light. And I put it so that you can get a flash alert on the back when you receive a notification. So whenever you get a notification, that little light will actually blink. It's actually gonna turn red. It does it like every like, you know, 10 seconds or something like that. But I actually think that's pretty cool, guys, so. Let's jump into the third reason. The first one is the build quality. The second is the notification light, guys. The next thing I like about this device is the screen display. It's 1080 by 2160, full HD by 189 aspect ratio. Um, you can game on, on high graphics on PUBG because of the screen display. It's giving you the, the 390 pixels per inch of uh, density as well so it's 390 pixels per inch it just looks really beautiful 18 by 9 aspect ratio as well which is really cool you also see that there's no cutout no notch um you know i'm talking about it doesn't have that weird thing where like one the chin is bigger than the forehead or anything like that like pretty much both sides are symmetrical and everything just looks really clean 
when it comes to the overall build. That, that's another thing about the build is that the chin and the forehead line up so it doesn't give you OCD when you're looking at the top and bottom and you're like, why is one side bigger? But this one is even, so I like that a lot. Another th thing that's pretty cool with this device is if you put on a pair of headphones, you can use this DTS 3D surround sound, which is crazy. So, you know what I mean? The DTS surround sound is gonna sound really nice when you're gaming and things of that nature. I think that's gonna be pretty dope, like when you're um, definitely gaming but this thing has the um snapdragon 450 on it it's not a gaming chipset or anything like that but you, i definitely can game on here and things of that nature so i wasn't having any headaches or hiccups or anything of that nature everything was working really nicely but honestly you can use this device it's going to give you all your software updates as well we got android 10 on here update and then um what well, that was actually pretty cool when that happened, I really liked that this thing got Android 10. And then we got every single update when it came to the software patches as well. So, um, you know, I'm talking about, it just got optimized over time. If this was the last phone in the world, I would use it. This was one of my favorite phones that I ever used when it came to smartphones was the LG Stylo lineup. And I still do love the Stylo lineup. It's just a really nice smartphone in my opinion, so. You know what I mean? I definitely like these phones. The next thing is the notes on here and the pen, guys. So they give us the, uh, you know what I mean? The Q, uh, the Q st uh, slide app. One of the things I did notice about the pen option is that if you're on here and you just long press any one of these, it can take you to the option where you can get your pen shortcuts and re-navigate them to any pen uh, or a shortcut or app. When you pull out the pen, you can get your shortcuts, but I really love um, taking notes on this, on the LG Stylus 5, because it's really clean. I, I'm a visual person, and whenever I um, wanna write things down, I definitely use this thing all the time. I don't know why, you know, you wouldn't really buy this phone unless you take notes. I mean, I take a ton of notes, so if you're not gonna really, um, you know, buy this phone for notes, then it wouldn't really make sense. But I could definitely say that this thing does take some really good notes, like when I'm using it and things of that nature. I don't even know what I'm sketching right here, but it does, um, I use this thing a lot. It doesn't have the spring activated tool, like the six, but you know, I, mean, I didn't have any issue losing it as long as you just pop it in. Um, it's not gonna come out on its own unless you drop it really hard or something like that. But like I said, I really do um, like the software on this thing. It does give you Android 10. And um, I have gotten all the software updates when I've been using it. So I really think that's pretty cool because uh, it does give you software updates. You can see we're on February 1st, 2021 um, when it comes to the Google Play system updates. August 1st, 2020, but I, um, I haven't I've checked for an update in a while. So let me just see if we do have an update on here. Chances are that we do, but let, let me just check. Oh yeah, so there's an update right here already asking me to hit that, but you can see the battery is too low. You gotta have it at least above 40% or something like that. But I really do like the fact that this device always does get updates. And um, this is the Metro by T-Mobile version. So not all the versions will, but this version will, and it gets supported for many years after. Um, the user interface is really nice. You get your app tray as well. You get your dark mode on here. You, and everything just seems to work perfectly fine as far as um, your features. Also, you do get NFC and DTS 3D sound like I was talking about when you plug in the headphones. The NFC is something that you could use to make mobile payments with or share information via electronics. I think that's pretty sick that this phone had it. A lot of other phones didn't have it. Um, now the downside of this phone is it doesn't have portable storage. You can't move apps to the SD card. Um, and the, the low um, ROM, it doesn't have high ROM. It has low ROM and RAM. Uh, 32 gigabytes and the when it when it comes to the storage 
the the storage gets eaten up by the you know I'm talking about the system 16 gigabytes of RAM I mean ROM coming out of the system you know what I'm talking about so that's the only downside is that if LG could fix that and make it like down to to maybe like seven or something like that that would be pretty cool but I guess it's this smart world thing that's doing it this is the app that does it but um, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I, I definitely like the build quality on here, the notification light, the um, the pen feature as well for taking notes. The the NFC on board is really cool. The, and the display is just really solid, guys. The battery also is pretty cool and I like the fact that you do get updates. Even the cameras are pretty decent. I mean, it's only one camera on the back. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. And um, let me see, this guy right here. Let me just show you like, this thing has a pretty decent 13 megapixel camera on the back. When you use the portrait mode, you can get wide mode when you hit that. You could turn on the beauty if you wanna reveal, unreveal your your blemishes and scars, or you could put that on and it'll make you look like you got makeup on or something. But um, I think that's pretty cool. You get the AI camera on here. There's other modes on here to choose from like food, uh, panorama, nothing too crazy, but you know, you got your standard lens on here. You could flip up the camera just by swiping up. But when it comes to the photos, they are pretty decent. You can see right here. I could do the wide, wait, I can't do no wide mode on here, but this, I think this controls the zoom. So you could take one at four times. Let's see how that came out. Not too bad. That kind of looks like a macro photo, but let me know what you guys think about the LG Stylo 5 in 2021, and I'll get right back with you later, groupies.